Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved Vigo Man here. Welcome to Let's Build a Yacht. This is a new series where we will build an epic yacht together in a new fantastic way of doing a Let's Build. I hope you guys really enjoyed this series. I put a lot of effort into doing it. So right now I am working on building the basic layout and the shape of the boat we are building. We are building a yacht, nothing too fancy, a modern styled yacht on the World Corrales server using Flow's HD texture pack, if you was wondering. Uh, this commentary is recorded after the building itself, so the footage you're watching is sped up a little bit and the voice is put off after, just to make it easier for me to focus 100% on the building and then 100% on the speaking to make the video 100% enjoyable, if you know what I mean. Right now we're watching me building the basic shape of the bottom of the boat. We're using snow as the main block and the main color of the boat to get this nice modern white look. In the background you can also see an amazing boat built by Builds, another fellow YouTuber on the World Corral server. It's very very nice. So I really hope you guys enjoy this kind of new series where we are building this boat. Please let me know some feedback on how you like the editing and how you like the way of this series and how it's going because it's easier for me to understand what you guys are interested in watching and what you guys enjoy watching and what's helpful and all that jazz so you know what to do. Go down in the comment section and let me a small small comment. Right now I'm working on the shape of uh, like the back on the boat which will kind of be overhanging a little bit of a small balcony on the back. I think it will turn out pretty cool. We're working a little bit on the front of the boat to make a nice kind of slope going up. We're going with an unorthodox shape here, where the front of the boat actually is leaning backwards, if you know what I mean, instead of just going all the way into a pike on the, on the front. We'll also use uh, some slabs here on the front deck here to get this nice uh, possibility to use other blocks to create um, to create some kind of illusion of using half slabs if we're probably using wool will we be using wool later on now we can see that I am breaking the blocks of the basic shape and I'm making some kind of small window here to just to break off the, the whole structure of the boat and to add it some small detail to it and I think it turned out pretty pretty nice. We're using the snow caps to create a very small small crack here in the shell and it looks very very nice. Now we're going to build a little bit more on the deck here. We'll add some kind of sun pattern or sun mattress, I don't know what to call that thing. Uh, where you can sleep on some kind of mattress on the deck to get maximum out of the sun and your vacation on this beautiful yacht we're building. So you can see that I'm elevating the ground up a little bit just to create and break up the deck uh, floor. That's something I like to do, just break it up with adding a small step up and down. It really creates a good atmosphere and make things look a little bit more interesting. So the white thing you can see is actually the base of where we'll have the mattress and the sunbed to make it look all fancy and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. We're using some wool here and you can see I'm putting in the wool right now. There we go, I'm so pro. And then putting some kind of stair up to it and kind of make this frame around it to make it look all nice and stuff. I'm using the snow just to get the possibility to make more and better uh, shapes. Because you know shapes, or boats I mean, are not like square, they're more like this dynamic organic shape. So that's why I'm using the snow to be able to create more and better shapes on the boat. You can see I added a stair in using the slabs again to create even more elevation. Now I'm working on the basic shape of the inside of the boat, where the steering wheel will be and the flybridge and all that stuff. And you can see the shape of where the window will be now. So yeah, again, I'm putting up some slabs here to create and break the surface, break the, um, the flatness of the boat. I realized I just made a small mistake here with the slabs, I'll fix that later on. Then we're adding another layer of snow here before we're adding this thing here, which will be some kind of seating area with a table in. You can see I'm going to use the, um, the wool again. Still trying to figure out the cool design of how to do this. 
and this is a let's build keep in mind that guys that I do not always know what I'm doing so right now I'm just testing if something works and I will do all this over again because it doesn't work completely as I want it to so you can see breaking them and placing down some wool here to create some kind of sofa or I don't know some seating area and then creating a small table in the front here actually gonna use some iron bars here to make it look more modern And then we're going to use some magic to whirl it to place a modern kind of table. This is a trick if you have your ability to use whirl it, you do this. Use the fast command and then use your water or set it to water to make a very nice flat, almost looking like a glass table. It looks very very nice. Right now I'm putting in the glass on the flybridge. If you're not familiar with the boat language, a flybridge is the place you can steer a boat from upstairs. And it's not like you sit inside a boat, but you sit on top of the boat to get an even better view. And that's called a flybridge. Now you know, everything you know is good guys. I'm using some quartz here on the roof, just to kind of break up the texture of the very nice clear white snow. And uh, the quartz has a little bit more of yellow in it. Uh, it will be of course like that, like naturally, because of the sun is more active and more powerful on the top of the boat and it will make the white fade a little bit. That's why I'm using quartz and also quartz has stairs to make a nice kind of pattern. I will be using them later on to make the roof of the flybridge look even better. So now I'm just making some kind of slope here using the snow caps, which I talked about earlier to make it uh, the slopes and the shapes even more interesting on the boat here. You can see I'm using the caps to to make them like a very nice slope next to the seating area we made earlier on. Like that looking very very nice. Moving on to working on the flybridge here, adding some more glass to the sides. I want to make the roof or the basic shape of the flybridge on the top here go some kind of slope down towards the end of the boat to make it look very nice and aerodynamic. That's what we want, don't we? To make it look as modern and realistic as possible. See now, I will redo these windows because I don't not I'm very not very satisfied with the way they turn out. So I will change them later in the video. So don't if you guys are building this together with me, drop this part. We will do them all over again later. You can see that I'm trying to make the top of the roof meet like the end of the roof or and uh, the flybridge here to make it nice and sweet. And that's what we're going for to have this kind of slope style and it makes the boat look more aerodynamic. You can see here I'm, I'm playing around with the slabs and the stairs and the full blocks. And we got a shape that I'm pretty satisfied with like that. Filling it all in again with using some blocks and try to make the shape as organic and dynamic as possible. You can see here I'm using the stairs I'm talking about. And then using some full blocks again here. So I kind of want to have some kind of contest and challenge on today's video is that we need a name for this boat and if you have great suggestions for names on this boat be sure to let me know in the comment down below and when all of these videos are done there will be three parts in this series here by the way and if you are the one with the best name suggestion I will pick you out and you will be able to name this boat. So that's pretty awesome after three videos we will be able to name this guy. So if you have good suggestions, be sure to let me know. And if you don't have good suggestions, make sure to Google some good suggestions to get a nice view here. Removing what we just built here to make the windows all over again, which I already told you guys about. That's a great part of doing this afterwards, doing the commentary afterwards, that I know what we will redo and what we will not redo. Using the capture again to kind of make the window have better shape. Like that, I'm redoing the other side as well here. Do some more changes to it though. This is kind of a prototype. I don't know 
exactly what I'm doing with the windows. We'll change those. I will make the slope like going down toward the side of the window even steeper like that. You can see and I will change the other side here to make it fit the same. Like that. There we have a very nice shape. You can see the window is already looking better. Now I'm doing something that I might might change. I'm pretty sure it changes later on. I'll add some more glass on the, on the top here to make some sunlight in on the flybridge. And we'll add some kind of antennas and um, radars on the top here. You can see I'm adding in the windows now to make this look cool. And then I'm putting a kind of slab top, slab cap on this uh, roof here to make the whole shape look more better. Look how good it is guys, I'm trying to get all of the lines good going here. All the lines throughout the boat to make it look as realistic and nice as possible. Now we're gonna add some few antennas on the boat here. For that I will be using some birch uh, fences and some iron bars. Totally forgot about my English there. We're using a slab here to build up a little bit so the fence connects properly. And then making some kind of antenna here and putting the iron bars on top like that. I think that looks like an antenna. And then we'll use some stones for some radars. And big boats often have these kind of big radars on the top, like big balls, round white balls or grey balls that sends out radars. I actually know a lot about these, I'm not going into detail, I'm selling these by the way in my work. So I know a lot about these radars, but anyway, moving on to the side of the boat where we were building some kind of window here that will look pretty pretty nice. Some kind of boat shaped window towards the side and it looks fantastic when it's all done. See here we're using the snow caps to get an even better shape on the boat here. And then we'll add some glass behind that. Check this out guys. Some black glass here to create some contrast. And it also go with the same colors we did on the other side. And look at that perfect shape. That's very very nice. What do you guys think? Isn't that awesome? I did this other side of camera now. And moving back. <laughs> moving back. Moving to the back of the boat. Really redoing this shape here because I was not completely satisfied. We're gonna have it even lower, close to the water, to make it even better to swim from and yeah, take a small swim in the water here. Using the snow caps again, that's the reason why I'm using snow caps when I'm building boats. To easier be able to do more and awesome, more awesome shapes on the boat here. Struggling a little bit of getting the shape correctly here. Uh, it, that's the hard part about snow, it's hard to get the exact shape replicated all over. But I'm, at least I'm trying, I think I'm doing a decent job. Like that. I'm sorry guys, just got a Skype message, I don't know if you heard it. And we will getting some shape around the back and then we'll add some kind of plateau after we've done the, all of the shapes here. Adding these kind of things to the side to make it a more aerodynamic looking. It's not that it makes any matter, but it looks better. And continuing the lines from the top here. Then we're kind of making some kind of uh, layout for where we want this, the future wall to be. Which we will do in the next episode. Or the next part of this. We will be building the wall and work a little bit on the inside of the boat. Now we are making the floor back here. Which will look very very nice. We will fit in just some oak planks like that. Which we will be using on the rest of the boat. That's it for this part. If you enjoyed guys, make sure to let me know with a comment down below and click that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and all of that and stay tuned for the next part of this Let's Build.